Welcome to Jazz Time. Jazztime.com is an online store that buys, sells, trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so our customers can easily choose the best watch for themselves in the comfort of their own home. If you would like to know the price, simply click on the link in the description below. If you enjoy our videos, we'd greatly appreciate it if you would buy a watch at jazztime.com, which is why I'm making this video so you guys at home can look at YouTube from the comfort of your own home and decide which watch you want to buy. So if you want to buy one of these, please watch the review and buy it from Jazz Time, not someone else. Today I'm going to be comparing the Rolex Yachtmaster 40 reference 126621 chocolate dial with the Rolex GMT Master 2 reference 126711 CHNR root beer and the Rolex Datejust 41, reference 126331, chocolate diamond dial. What they, what do they all have in common? They're all chocolate uh, Rolexes. So we're going to compare them, go through them, and decide, and hopefully you'll decide which one you want by the end of this video, and buy one at JazzTime.com. So let's start with the first two. So I'll compare two, two to two. The the uh, these two are the, probably the most, most people are going to compare these two because they're two sports watches that are both chocolate. And what do I mean by chocolate? I mean the dial or, and, the, and, the, um, and the material. So I'm going to go through step by step the bracelet, the case, the dial, um, the movement, and then I'm going to try them on and give you my thoughts. So let's dive right in. Now both of these watches, the Yachtmaster 40 chocolate, and the GMT are both using 40 millimeter cases. That means from my thumb to my index finger. Now the difference, however, is that the Yachtmaster 40 is going to be using a sleeker case. And if you look at the cases side by side on the Yachtmaster 40, it's much more sleek and it's using an oyster case. Whereas on the GMT to my right, it's using a super case which has much sharper edges. In fact, it looks like a, a, a edge as opposed to a sloped case. It has a very defined edge on the GMT and it looks quite thicker. Look at the edge of the lugs, is much thicker. And if you look at it side profile wise, you can also see that as well. The Yachtmaster looks much more uh, sleek, whereas the uh, GMT on the right looks much more boxy. Depends on which like you look. The GMT does look bigger and wear bigger, which is why I'm comparing them so you can see, okay? Now let's move on to the bezel. Well, so basically, if you want a sleeker watch, you should go with the Yachtmaster. If you want a chunkier, thicker watch, or at least looks thicker, then you should go with the GMT. All right, now let's move on to the bezel. The bezel on the Yachtmaster 40 is made of rose gold. They call it, Rolex calls it Everose Rolesor 18 karat gold, and it will stay this color forever. That's the reason why they call it Everose. And it's also 40 millimeters and it's bi-directional, meaning you can turn it both ways. And it, it's used to calculate elapsed time. That's why you see these 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, that's calculating elapsed time. Whereas on the GMT, you see it has 24 hour graduated hour markers here because it's not used for calculating time. It's used for um, elapsed time. It's used for calculating the actual time in a second time zone. So this 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, so on goes to 22. For example, if this uh, hand right there was going to 14, that would be 2 o'clock in some distant land. That makes sense. So these watches are used for telling different um, different things, basically. Okay, So hence the bezels are different. And I should mention on the Root Beer GMT, this bezel is made of ceramic and it's also uh, much more scratch resistant than the gold. Obviously gold is very soft and ceramic is very hard so it does the ceramic does not scratch. Hence, well, uh, if you like a, a more sporty watch that's not going to scratch, you got to go with the GMT. If you want a uh, more blingy watch, then you should go with the Yachtmaster. Okay? Now, I, I've sort of been neglecting this whole time, this Datejust, and that's kind of the reason is because the Datejust, although it's chocolate, it's not a sports watch, and if you're going to consider a sports watch, you're probably just going to be looking at the Yachtmaster or the GMT, but I should include this um, 
uh, date just in here as well. So let's compare that uh, as well. Now the case of the of the DHS 41 is actually going to be using the same uh, or very similar case, not the same case, because uh, the case on the uh, date just is actually 41 millimeters. Can you guys see a difference? Does it look a little bit bigger? The date just 41. Does it look? It's only one millimeter, so it's really hard to tell. But it has a slight, it has the same style case. Now, if you guys look at the cases side by side, it's the same style. It has a sleek look, but it doesn't. It's uh, 41 millimeter as opposed to 40 millimeter. You guys see that? Okay. And moving to the bezel, okay. Both these bezels are made of rose gold, but the bezel on the right, obviously, as you see, is fluted, and that's their signature look. It's rose gold, okay? Now, looking at the dial, if you compare them, they're both chocolate, and they appear to me, at least, to have the same tone. And obviously, the date just has diamonds. You can also get it without diamonds. And here's what it would look at night. If it, what your watch looks like at night, legibility at night is important to you, well, that's what the um, Yacht Master would look like. Okay, and diamonds, of course, they do not fluoresce, so I'm shining the light at it, but it, you still can't see it. So if you want a watch that can be seen at night, then you got to go with the Yacht Master if you want a chocolate dial, that is. Okay, so I've talked to you guys about each part, I think. Now let's move on to the bracelet. Now the bracelet on the GMT, well, let's see what differences we have on them. Okay, they're both going to be oyster bracelets. So that doesn't change anything. All right, so I'm gonna open them up so that you can see. And they both have actually the exact same bracelet. So there's really not much to, to notice different. They're both oyster bracelets, rose gold down the center links, and they have the same uh, width of the buckle. It's actually the exact same thing. Okay, so now let's, let's take a look at it compared to the Datejust, which obviously, as you see, uh, the Datejust has a Jubilee bracelet, but also has a Datejust buckle, which it's a, on the Datejust buckle, it's slightly different because it's not a, a safety uh, fold-over clasp. It's a simply an oyster folding folding clasp as opposed to a safety, safety clasp. You just simply close it once, like such, versus on the Yacht Master and the GMT where you close it like this and then you snap that over. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the buckles. Now let's talk about the movement. The GM, uh, well let's start with the Yacht Master. The Yacht Master, since this is an updated version, it's using a caliber 3235, which is has a, a precision of plus minus two seconds a day and a, uh, I believe it's a 70 hour power reserve can't see it because it's housed inside this monoblock middle case, but suffice it to say, it has a new uh, movement. And by the way, the way you can tell is you see where this uh, Swiss uh, Rolex made is, that tells you this is the updated movement, okay? And on the Yacht Master or the GMT, it has, uh, let's see here, it has a 3285 movement and also has a power reserve of 70 hours. This one has a GMT function um, the Yacht Master doesn't. I don't really think any of that really matters because you can't see the movement anyways and it has the, the movement that's specific for it. So that thing's also a wash. On the on the Datejust, uh, it's a, also a 3235 movement which is the same as the Yacht Master which has a date and it's also updated. I don't really think any of those things really matter because uh, basically the movement, you can't see it anyways. Okay, so as I told you at the outset of this video, I would try it on and give you my thoughts. I'm going to compare mostly these sports watches to one another because I think most people who are considering sports watches are going to stick with sports watches. So if you are thinking that you like a rose gold uh, sports watch, you got to really choose between the Yacht Master or the, um, the GMT Root Beer. Now, what are my thoughts? Well, I really like this uh, Yacht Master. I love that it's gold. I love that it's chocolate. You don't see a lot of these watches. It looks a bit dressy and it also looks sporty because it has this oyster bracelet and folding uh, oyster safety lock. That's the part I like about it. The only thing I don't really like about it so much is that, you know, gold um, scratches at the bezel and I guess you really can't do anything about that. I mean, it's a fancy uh, watch. So, I don't know, maybe a Rolex could somehow figure out how to make gold that had some kind of protective plating over it or something that would make it not um, 
I don't know, not scratch, that would be cool. I don't know. Anyways, that's it's still an awesome watch. Now, as far as this root beer, this is a much sportier watch. I also really like it. Uh, I really like the GMT function on it. Um, how does I, I like that it has this fatter case. You know, that's also a very big plus for me. I like sometimes I kind of like to have a beefier watch. So that's another re, uh, plus for this GMT. I kind of wish that the dial, instead of black, it was also chocolate. You know, it kind of would blend in for the rest of the watch. You know, like having a, a, a root beer watch with a chocolate dial. I think that would be kind of cool. But, you know, I mean, what do I know? I've only sold 10,000 Rolexes. So, yeah. Anyways, those are my thoughts. But, yeah, anyways, it's a really great watch still. Now, if I were to compare this also to the uh, Datejust. Now, the Datejust is kind of totally different because it's a, it's a uh, dress watch. So it's kind of hard to compare, but I'll do it anyways because, you know, they are still chocolate, so it's not like they're completely different watches. This is a chocolate watch, and if you look at, you know, two chocolate watches side by side, well, then there you go. You know, it still looks pretty, pretty darn, uh, pretty darn good. For the day chest, I like it. If I were to get the day chest, I definitely would get it on Jubilee because it looks more special. So I don't know. Anyways, you guys decide. If you want to buy one of these, please go to jazztime.com. J-A-Z-T-I-M-E.com. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it, and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in Jazz Time, plus the brand, model, and the details you're interested in, and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.